That's a tarpon. That's a tarpon. Good morning, everyone. Austin's Adventure is here. Taking a little walk down to the dock to meet Captain Billy. And uh, we're gonna head out and target some tarpon this morning. Uh, he's coming around the corner over here. See him right there? Getting some baits. So, uh, Let's see what happens. I got my buddy Josh with me today. Um, so hopefully get some good content for you guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. See you guys in a bit. Machine gun, buddy, machine gun! <laughs> Benita was like a vibrator, just wah! <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> I really want to get approached. <laughs> That's like a 30 fucking 30 Dude. or 40 pound. Dude, it's so big, man. It's huge. It's... That's one of the next to the tarpon, that's the baddest animal out here, man. Yeah, he's a bully on the playground. That's a tarpon. Oh, yeah. That's a tarpon. Come back here, come back here. Yeah, baby. Yep. Awesome.
Thank you, Billy. This is a battle, yeah, this is uh... Yep. Right. Done my job for the day. There's a whole half track with and everything. We got key. Phone on the belly. <laughs> Great, pick your feet up, sit, we're gonna be a while. This is, this is a big classic. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh... is, is... Josh, I'm a 
honestly, this isn't a bad fight, man. Overboard procedure is to flip the bale on the rod, let the tarpon free swim, and I will get you back to the boat and get back on the landing, okay? Yeah. Well, that ain't gonna he happen. Won't drag you into, he won't drag you into the water. That ain't gonna he happen. Just for a second, just, just hold your breath. <laughs> flip the bale. <laughs> I'm a good swimmer. Oh, yeah, he I is. I don't know where I went. Uh, it was a dad and two sons, and they're fighting the tarpon, and, uh, the car takes off and runs and uh, pulls him overboard and the rod flies out of his hand. The car was running back this way and the rod's floating and spinning like this. We're driving up to it. Dad's like, Oh, oh, get the rod, get the rod. I'm like, I'm like, oh, get the rod. Get the rod. Get the rod. I don't care about my kid. He's like, swim back to the boat. He's like, swim back to the boat. Don't do that again. We really, really were adult kids. You know what I'm saying? Was, yeah. Like yeah. Was like 20 something year old kid. stays on. The tarpon just happened to be turning at the, in that moment. It jumped, pulled it out of the boat. When it landed, it landed in a different orientation and came back towards us. And it was just a miracle that we were able to get the rod back. I take back what I said, Josh. Yeah. Well, your, your hand's going to start hurting. Yeah, it, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm kind of trying to switch. You don't want to stalemate on him, though. He's not, if he's not pulling drag, right. he's going to be pulling on him. Yeah, he's pulling. I mean, if I were to pull, drag would run, so... I'm just trying to let him swim and get tired. Gain when I can. Yeah, I mean, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. I mean, or had on the line. I won't say caught, because it ain't it ain't to the boat yet. With tarpon, you're hooking them, getting the best out of them is, is, is 80% of the cool shit. And if, if you get lucky enough to put your hands on one, then that's the rest of it. I hope we get lucky today. And we got good leader on there. It's a tarpon hook. I mean, hopefully he's hooked in the button. Eventually they can shave through, but uh, I mean, a 60 pound, you got as much time as, as possible with line. I mean, I was able to kind of, you hooked I, I saw him and eat, so him yeah. So hopefully there's 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 four well, three parts to the tarpon's mouth. The jaw, the clippers, and the button on the top. And you want to hook them in the button. Right. If they're, if they're hooked in the button, the, the hook eye is out of their mouth and it, it just rotates back and forth across the top of their head. Right. And it doesn't, you know, the line doesn't get you caught know, in their mouth. So the, the two plates on the side of their mouth, those are called the clippers. And uh, if you're hooked inside of the mouth or on the or on the clipper itself on the inside, it tends to wrap around the bottom of the clipper and, that, and then every time they, he's coming up for a jump. Yeah. Oh, he's very mellow. He is very mellow. Every time they roll, though, they get energy. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. He's gonna go down deeper. Yeah. Let's see if I can. He's probably been gorging out there for who knows how long. Full belly. I feel like he broke it. No, nope. he didn't do anything. He just pulled it out. Oh, 
the hook. Hold the damn hook. Hook's still in good shape. Everything's good. He just he just pulled it. I should have went lower. I had my rod tip too high. You know what happens, man. You know, it is what it is. So it was still awesome. We hooked him and, and got the fighting. Yeah, it is target fish. You're lucky if you land one out of ten. So good deal. But yeah, we got some good jumps out of him. You got to pull on him for a good ten minutes here. So yeah, that's the success. Let's go up and do it again. Josh, your turn. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.